Hey, what's up guys? How are you today? My name is Trex and welcome back to another video of the Walking Dead series. So last time we finished the episode 2, which we escaped from the farmer with psychopaths. And we now, right now, we are going to start the episode 3, the long road ahead. So let's do this. This is probably will be the longest episode of all, I think. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Alright, and that's how we ended the episode too. We, at least Lee and Clementine didn't want to steal that supply food from that car. Alright, I know, I know. And where will we be starting in this episode, probably in the motel or maybe somewhere else cha 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 okay so they are in the city Probably searching for some Looks food. Like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too quiet on the road or maybe it's an ambush but I don't Lee, know where do you come down on staying or going you mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV yeah we've been talking about it but have you made up your mind yet we should go motels run its course and it's not safe you're damn right it has we pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water and if Lily's dead set on staying then well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, it's not safe there, so we need to make move as fast as we can. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. <laughs> Alright, so enough. We can explore a little bit. First, we need to check the ladder. Can we fix up? Or just to break it? Yeah, it's no use anymore. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. Hmm. Or we can just do something with her. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Okay, let's grab it. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. 
We did kill her dad. She's still in that trauma. Well, I can't blame her. She hates us. Okay. We can now try. To use this. And the core. And the car will actually move. upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? Hmm. I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Okay, Barry, but the car got it. Okay, maybe we'll, right now we can. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's try to last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Well, it was a scary situation for her. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. All right, you're let's sure you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Are you sure? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, right. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. Oh, somebody's screaming. Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Somebody help me! Another paranoid person. What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Well, oh my god, she got bit. Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. They don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kid. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Okay, so we have first important decision. Either we can shoot her or leave her. But Ken is right. We can't risk this to shoot her. But as she will draw attention to her. Let's go. She'll keep you busy. Okay, so we probably bought some time. We are in the pharmacy. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay, we can pick some items. Right here, we have even more. We must pick everything to what we can get. She's gone. There's not much time now. All right, we are, we have timer now. I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Okay, so we've got Jenny, help! 20 items. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, please. Hold on. Come on, come on. Whoa. 
bridge. Now, let's fucking get out. All right, run, Lee, run. Smash. Oh my god. What? That did it work? All right. We did it. Run, Lee, run. Don't look at him. Let's go, pal. Oh. There's a bridge in the wall. That's good. Alright, we escaped with a lot of stuff. And here we back in the motel. There's Clem with her walkie-talkie. You're back. Finn found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. <laughs> so, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Just piling into an RV with you two. And what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. Yep. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, kitty. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, mm -hmm. though. And I don't think you're capable well, of this. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. Yep. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know well, what about medicine? What about medicine? This. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's Good. the first smart thing he's done in a while. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Yeah, it was Look, kind of tough making decision these people to aren't savable. It. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Hmm. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. 
Do you understand, Ken? So someone here is rubbing the medicine, thing. huh? None of this is getting any easier. I got to ask her what actually happened. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Well, sure. Why not? Okay, so we can explore a little bit. But she said something about stealing, so maybe we can ask her about this? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. She might be broken. Oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. But she still has some and sense in her. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. Yeah, sure. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Well, so we we'll okay, just poke. I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. <laughs> a mystery. <laughs> Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need yeah, to sure. unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Well, sure, why not? You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Well, at least he will learn something. Okay, so that will help. Now maybe let's check on Carly. You wanted to talk about something? Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. Well, I don't think she would be the one. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Hmm. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> that was a compliment. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. It doesn't represent who you are, really. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. 
and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. <laughs> I actually, I want to be now, is there anything honest else you for everyone, about? so I will just ask everyone. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Well, she's not wrong. Okay, so I don't think that she broke I'm flashlight, so it was... Good idea. I won't ask her anything about this. All right. Well, first of all, I need to be honest with Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll well, actually you're trying. Too. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Okay, so Clementine knows what really has done, and I don't think that she also broke the flashlight. Hey, you two. How I will you ask about Kenny We're about okay. this. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. Well, I'm you sorry. should. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. <laughs> I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta <laughs> ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. It must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Okay, so maybe now let's us. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Okay, so we need Hi, to guys. talk to Katya about them. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? 
Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Well, if we need to be honest, my friends, sure, why not? Back and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> well, now she knows everything. But happened back there everything keeps changing well no wonder all right oh so let's talk to hey the ben. ben right now what's up lee hey ben i need to tell you something sure lee is it about my watch i'm trying to do a good job you're doing fine I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Okay, so we actually told... The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. So we talk to everyone about this. So I think it's okay. All right, so catch it. Uh, told us about this broken uh, glass to the flashlight. Oh, there's the X mark. Chalk. Hey. Hmm. Dark. A clue. <laughs> Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. All right, so we had something. Well, Clementine's something drawing right there with the chart so maybe we will ask her hey clementine hey lee do uh do you have any pink chalk no it's gone somewhere hmm. do you want blue no no it's okay Psst, me i found something what is it I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues yeah, and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Well, sure, he helped, so we can just do a high five. Cool! Mm, wait, so actually we tried to tell everybody about who Lee was. So, can we actually get a new conversation with her? Oh, yeah. Talk to Kenny about who I am. And? It was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. 
Not even yeah. a little. <laughs> He's just happy I told him something. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Well, Ben was happy that we could talk to him honestly. Oh my god. So now we are need to investigate something outside the gate. But can we? Can we not? You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Doc? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. Yep. That's probably for the best. The same goes for the Clementine. Have you found anything else? Just the chuck. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. But wait, seriously, we can push it on out here? Ah, here it is. Poor chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Okay, so now, right now we can go outside the gate and see if actually there's something. But uh, we can't go here, so we must probably move here. Okay. Ooh, actually there's something. Back probably with medicine. Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall, and there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all got our people out there! Oh my god, it's those bandits. Fucking around. What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake mm. of your life! Actually, what can we Shit. actually do? Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boots in these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy! Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us! You got it! Done! Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Get him? All right. All right, there are more of them coming. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Come on. All right. Go around, shit for brains. He's back there. Come on, show yourself. Gotcha. Now, get over here. Hurry, man. You saved our asses. Get inside. Hi there, me. Help. Ha! 
Gotcha. Hang on. Oh no. The workers are coming down. Where is he? He's hiding behind that bear. Get your asses around gotcha. behind. Gotcha. Gotcha. Another Hurry, one. come on! Whee! Cliff, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Yeah. Oh Christ! Oh my god. I hope they weren't bit. Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Okay, we now to take out some walkers. Something here? Yeah, two more. And right here. Alright. He turned up the engine, so we are going the off here. Last chance! Get down here! The motor is siege, so we have no chance of taking it back. All right. Matt, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's yep. head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. Well, actually, I've she should to work. I don't Probably think not the best time, Lily. Have if done this. Now, when? Look at what just happened. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look. Maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know. Lily. You mean what I found? <laughs> Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Well, he ran the walker. Is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. All right. I think something is going to happen here, but I don't like this. That walker was just a coincidence. Oh, and he, even though he's still alive? Honey, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. He's marbling Everyone something. Keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker! You okay over there? There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Well, it could okay, be a possibility. Fine, then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. 
What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Ha, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more well, medicine, he's anything. Just experience some trauma. Good now. Just let me stay, please. God, please. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Then you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. Lily, lay off. I can't leave. You're freaking you know out, I can't. woman. Thank you, Lee. Please listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me now. There, I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the army. That's not happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you, but you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Oh no, I don't like this look. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh Jesus, I knew it, I knew it! Drop it! Well now she's... The danger for the group like the library was. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows, Jesus Christ! Even Clement, I saw this. We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Well, what you have done here a minute what ago, gonna do it's her? pretty Leave old statement. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. Your actions represent your consequences. In the future. You should think twice before start doing something. Lee, a word, please. And I hope we will never see her again. All right, let's check out, check in, check on the catcher. What's up? You stuck feeling all right? What the fuck? Jesus. Happened during the raid. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do, from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Well, this is the first time that actually happened, the bite. Got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Hmm. Well, that was a little fault. Me 
you too. I heard you outside my tree house that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't though. Thanks. Okay, so they are probably they are heading west as it can be a long journey though Oh, it was a bad dream. Thank God. Something up ahead. Okay. Roads blocked. Why so? What happened? Now we gotta deal with this. Oh, a train. Well, that could be troublesome. <laughs> Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clear. Stay close to Kenny and Cat. Well, Ben and Lee rest at the most. Uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Ducks gotcha. are dehydrated. It's a to pair after dark and Kenny was driving, so we need what, to do something. You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Okay, so we know he will explore a little bit, but for now we are going to end this right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate that, your support. And see you guys next time.